When parking uphill next to a curb, set the parking brake and a. Keep the rear tires against the curb. b. Keep the front tires straight ahead. c. Turn your steering wheel away from the curb. d. Turn your steering wheel toward the curb. c. Turn your steering wheel away from the curb. When parking facing uphill on a street that has a curb, set your parking brake and turn your steering wheel away from the curb. This way, if your vehicle starts to roll, it will roll into the curb. This sign means A. Heavy traffic ahead. B. Do not enter. C. Railroad crossing. D. Yield. B. Do not enter. This sign means that it is not safe for drivers to enter the indicated road or driveway from their current direction. If you come across one of these signs, you should immediately turn around and drive a different way. When changing lanes, you can check your blind spots by A. Using the inside rearview mirror B. Using the outside rearview mirror C. Using both inside and outside rearview mirrors. D. Turning your head and looking over your shoulder. D. Turning your head and looking over your shoulder. You should turn your head to check your blind spots before every lane change. You may not cross a single broken white or yellow line. A. When doing so would interfere with traffic. B. When turning left into a driveway. C. When the car in front of you is disabled. D. When passing to the right on a one-way street. A. When doing so would interfere with traffic. You may cross a single broken line to pass or change lanes as long as you can do so safely and without interfering with traffic. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. This sign means A. No U-turn. B. No turning. C. No left turn. D. No right turn. A. No U-turn. This sign prohibits U-turns. Do not make a U-turn where this sign is posted. A red flashing traffic light has the same meaning as a A. Solid red light. B. Stop sign. C. Yield sign. D. Caution sign. B. Stop sign. A red flashing traffic signal has the same meaning as a stop sign. When approaching a red flashing signal, come to a complete stop and proceed when it is safe to do so. A stop sign may sometimes also be posted where this signal is located. Traffic signals sometimes display arrows to control turns from specific lanes. A solid red arrow. A is never used as a traffic signal. B. Has the same meaning as a circular red traffic light. C. Means that drivers may turn in the direction indicated by the arrow. D. Means that the traffic the arrow is pointing toward must stop. B. Has the same meaning as a circular red traffic light. A solid red arrow in a traffic signal means the same thing as a circular red traffic light. When an arrow is red, traffic in the indicated lane must stop and may not turn in the direction that the arrow is pointing. After being pulled over by law enforcement, a driver should immediately exit the vehicle and quickly approach the officer's squad car. A. True. B. False. 
B. False. If stopped by law enforcement, you should stay in your vehicle with both hands clearly in sight on the steering wheel. This sign shows one type of A. Intersection. B. Road curve. C. Right turn. D. Lane change. A. Intersection. This sign indicates that an intersection with a crossing road is ahead. What does a flashing yellow traffic light mean? A. Merging traffic. B. Proceed with caution. C. Pedestrian crossing. D. Come to a full stop. B. Proceed with caution. A flashing yellow traffic light indicates that you should drive with caution. When the driver behind you wants to pass, you should A. Speed up. B. Go the same speed. C. Slow down to allow room in front of your vehicle for the other driver to complete the pass easily. D. Change lanes. C. Slow down to allow room in front of your vehicle for the other driver to complete the pass easily. When the driver behind you wants to pass, you should slow down so that there is enough room in front of your vehicle for the other driver to complete their pass. This will allow them to complete the passing maneuver in less time and more easily. What should you do if your vehicle's right wheels leave the pavement? A. Stop quickly. B. Immediately pull all the way off of the road and get back on when it is safe. C. Accelerate and steer back on the road quickly. D. Take your foot off the accelerator, slow down, then ease back onto the road when it is safe to do so. D. Take your foot off the accelerator, slow down, then ease back onto the road when it is safe to do so. If your vehicle's right wheels leave the pavement, don't panic. Take your foot off the accelerator and steer parallel to the road. Slow down and ease back onto the roadway by keeping both hands on the steering wheel and steering into the road's right lane with a small turn of the steering wheel. Check for traffic around you before steering back onto the pavement. Fill in the blank. Greatly increase stopping distances and severity of crashes. A. High speeds. B. Slow speeds. C. Night drives. D. Uphill inclines. A. High speeds. High speeds greatly increase stopping distances and severity of crashes. The faster you drive, the greater the impact or striking power of your vehicle, should you be involved in a collision. Worn or bald tires. A. Can make turning more difficult. B. Are likely to hydroplane. C. Can increase your stopping distance. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Worn or bald tires can increase your stopping distance and make turning more difficult. Tires without adequate tread also increase the risk of hydroplaning. You are involved in an accident. You should A. Stop immediately. B. Help the injured. C. Call the police. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. If involved in an accident, you should stop your vehicle immediately. If possible, move the vehicle out of the way of traffic. Call the nearest police agency and ask for an ambulance, if necessary. Do not move the injured unnecessarily, but attempt to stop severe bleeding with direct pressure. Wait for emergency vehicles to arrive.
fill in the blank limit your concentration perception judgment and memory a only a blood alcohol level greater than the legal limit can b alcohol does not c even the smallest amount of alcohol can d only a blood alcohol level greater than 0.05% can c even the smallest amount of alcohol can even the smallest amount of alcohol will reduce your concentration perception judgment and memory and your driving skills will suffer no one can drink and drive safely this sign means a don't drink if you are going to drive b slippery when wet c road curves ahead d you are approaching a hill b slippery when wet this sign warns that the road is slippery when wet a single broken white line down the center of a two-lane road indicates a lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are not permitted to pass b lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so c lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are not permitted to pass d lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so d lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so white lines are used to separate traffic moving in the same direction dashed lines indicate that drivers directly next to the line are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so drinking alcohol and driving is a a minor traffic safety problem b a serious traffic safety problem c safe if you have only had a few drinks d only dangerous to the driver who drinks b a serious traffic safety problem driving while impaired or intoxicated is a serious traffic safety problem Safe driving is not possible when you drink alcohol or take other drugs. Driving under the influence is dangerous both to you and to others on the road. When driving on slippery roads, you should A. Use alternate routes. B. Drive as you would on dry roads. C. Increase your following distance. D. Avoid crossing bridges or intersections. C. Increase your following distance. On slippery roads, you should increase your following distance. It may take more time to stop your vehicle than it would under normal conditions. While driving on a two lane road without bicycle lanes, you encounter a bicyclist traveling in the same direction. What is the safest way to pass the bicyclist? A. Slow down and wait until there is no traffic approaching, then pass the bicyclist while leaving him or her sufficient space. B. Continue driving straight. It is the bicyclist's responsibility to get out of your way. C. Do not pass the bicyclist until you come to a traffic signal or stop sign. D. Honk at the bicyclist to let him or her know you are about to pass. A. Slow down and wait until there is no traffic approaching, then pass the bicyclist while leaving him or her sufficient space. You should pass a bicyclist the same way you would pass any other vehicle, but not so fast or close to them that you throw debris in their face or blow them around with the draft of air from your vehicle. Allow at least 3 feet of space between your side mirror and the bicyclist, or at least 5 feet on higher speed roads or when there is a group of bicyclists. Honking unnecessarily may startle riders and make them more likely to crash.
When driving in bad weather, drivers should a increase their speed to reach their final destination more quickly. B decrease their following distance. C increase their following distance. D none of the above. C increase their following distance. When driving on wet roads, drivers should increase their following distance. If your wheels drop off the pavement and onto the shoulder of the road, you should A. Brake hard and turn sharply back onto the pavement. B. Stop your car on the edge of the road. C. Slow down and very carefully turn back onto the pavement. D. Maintain your speed and turn sharply back onto the pavement. C. Slow down and very carefully turn back onto the pavement. If your wheels drop off the pavement and onto a low shoulder, you should reduce your speed without braking and very carefully turn back onto the pavement. Be aware of any nearby traffic when re-entering the road. This sign means A. Slippery when wet. B. Watch for drunk drivers. C. Dangerous curve ahead. D. Bump in the road ahead. A. Slippery when wet. Warning signs are usually diamond shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign warns drivers to be extra careful when the pavement is wet because the road may become slippery, making vehicles more difficult to control. When approaching railroad tracks, you should a. Look, listen, slow down, and be prepared to stop. B. Speed up to cross the tracks before the gate is lowered. C. Try to drive around a lowered gate. D. Not pay attention to how many tracks there are to cross. A. Look, listen, slow down, and be prepared to stop. When approaching railroad tracks, you should look, listen, slow down, and be prepared to stop for trains or other vehicles that may be using the rails. The consumption of alcohol while taking drugs can a. Decrease the effects of the drugs and alcohol. b. Increase the effects of both the drugs and alcohol. c. Help cure your illness. d. Improve your driving ability. b. Increase the effects of both the drugs and alcohol. The combination of alcohol and drugs, in some cases, can increase the effects of both the drugs and alcohol. It can be unsafe to drive after consuming either alcohol or drugs and is even more dangerous after combining them. This road sign means A. Bicycle crossing. B. Stop only if other cars are approaching. C. Bicycle store. D. Soft shoulders. A. Bicycle crossing. This sign, with the arrow below, indicates the location of a bicycle crossing path. Drive with caution around this sign because bicycles likely regularly cross or ride beside traffic in the area. When making a turn, you must fill in the blank your speed. A. Increase. B. Maintain. C. Vary. D. Reduce. D. Reduce. When turning, you should reduce to a speed that allows you to maintain control of your vehicle, stay in your lane, and react to unexpected situations. When you are in a line of traffic that is crossing a railroad track that has no signals or gates, a. You have the right of way and do not need to check for trains. B. You may pass slower drivers while crossing the track. C. 
you need to make sure there is space for your vehicle to get all the way across the tracks without stopping. D. All of the above. C. You need to make sure there is space for your vehicle to get all the way across the tracks without stopping. If you are following another vehicle at a railroad crossing, check to make sure you have enough room to get all the way across before you drive onto the tracks. You should never try to pass another vehicle as you approach or cross a railroad crossing. Always check for trains before crossing any railroad tracks. Hydroplaning is usually caused by a. Excessive stops b. Sudden stops c. Sudden turns d. Excessive speed d. Excessive speed Your tires become less effective at clearing water from the road as you increase your speed. If you drive too fast, they may lose their grip entirely, leaving the vehicle sliding on a film of water. This is known as, hydroplaning. A driver entering interstate traffic from an entrance or acceleration ramp. A. Should yield to drivers already on the interstate. B. Has the right of way. C. May force their way into traffic. D. Can assume that other drivers will change lanes to make room. A. Should yield to drivers already on the interstate. If you are on an entrance or acceleration ramp and are entering interstate traffic, you should yield to drivers already on the interstate highway. Merge safely into traffic when you are able to do so. An arrow painted on the pavement means A. Drivers in the proper lane may make the movement indicated by the arrow, if they choose to do so. b. Drivers in the proper lane must make the movement indicated by the arrow, but only if traffic lights are not working. c. Drivers in the proper lane must always come to a complete stop before making the movement indicated by the arrow. d. Drivers in the proper lane must make the movement indicated by the arrow while following directions indicated by traffic signals. D. Drivers in the proper lane must make the movement indicated by the arrow while following directions indicated by traffic signals. An arrow painted on the pavement within a traffic lane indicates that drivers in the lane must make the movement indicated by the arrow. Drivers should follow directions given by any traffic signs or signals before proceeding in the direction indicated by the arrow. This sign means A. Continue at your current speed. B. You must stop ahead. C. Speeding is not allowed. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. This sign indicates that there is a traffic signal ahead. You need to use extra caution when driving near a pedestrian using a white cane because A. He or she is deaf. B. He or she is a police officer. C. He or she is blind. D. He or she has poor balance. C. He or she is blind. When driving near a blind pedestrian who is carrying a white cane or walking with a guide dog, you must slow down, yield the right of way, and then proceed with caution. Be prepared to stop your vehicle in order to prevent injury or danger to the pedestrian. You may drive across a dashed white line. A. At any time. B. Only during daylight hours. C. When it is safe to change lanes. D. Only when passing a motorcycle. C. When it is safe to change lanes. Traffic lanes moving in the same direction are separated by broken white lines. You may cross over dashed lines to pass, 
if it is safe to do so. An in school zone sign indicates a that the speed limit is 20 miles per hour. B. The beginning of a reduced speed zone. C. The increased possibility of encountering pedestrians. D. The end of a reduced speed zone. A slow moving vehicle emblem is A. A rectangular red sign. B. A circular green sign. C. A diamond shaped yellow sign. D. A triangular orange sign. When a vehicle with an anti-lock braking system starts to lose traction on a slippery road, drivers should A. Pump the brakes. B. Press and hold the brake pedal. C. Press and hold the gas pedal. D. Lightly tap the brakes. B. Press and hold the brake pedal. If their vehicle loses traction on a slippery road, a driver with an anti-lock braking system ABS, needs to press down hard on the brake pedal, hold it, and steer out of danger. In an emergency situation, the ABS automatically pumps the brakes at a faster rate than the driver could. Removing steady pressure from the brake pedal or pumping the brakes will disengage the ABS. You are driving along a street and hear a siren. You cannot immediately see the emergency vehicle. You should A. Keep driving until you see the vehicle. B. Pull to the curb and look to see if it is on your street. C. Slow down. Don't stop until you see it. D. Speed up and turn at the next intersection. B. Pull to the curb and look to see if it is on your street. If you hear a siren or an air horn close by but do not know exactly where the emergency vehicle is, safely pull over to the right side of the road and stop until you are sure it is not headed toward you. This road sign means A. Increase your speed. B. Railroad crossing ahead. C. Intersection ahead. D. Four way stop ahead. C. Intersection ahead. This sign means that you are approaching an upcoming intersection. Watch carefully for cross traffic. <laughs>